Let them eat bugs is what I'm sure they'll be screaming from the aristocracy as it's taken down soon. That's what they want. Of course, they're going to try to starve us into the position that this, all we can do is eat bugs. I want to show you some articles and watch till the end because you're going to be amazed at what they're doing. The first of four articles we're going to look at is from the U.S. Sun. Fresh for you, bankrupt vegetable suppliers for Kroger and Walmart says business will continue despite being $341 million in debt. Rotten tomatoes have been found in a Kroger and Walmart vegetable suppliers finances, but the company will continue to grow them. And I know they mean this metaphorically speaking when they say rotten tomatoes are found in the finances, but I don't know about you. When I get a lot of produce, and it's not even just from Walmart, but as you'll see in a few minutes, there's other stores too. I'm finding that the produce is just, it's not as good lately. Have you noticed this? Things are not lasting near as long and they're rotting very quickly. We literally just picked up some bananas from Aldi, got back to our hotel during our tournament and they were already rotten. We definitely should have looked at them better. All right, let's continue. And again, it's not just Walmart, but key Walmart and Kroger suppliers files chapter 11 bankruptcy. You may not know their brand name, but the products are sold at most key grocery chains, including, hey, Whole Foods, Walmart, Kroger, and Wegmans. The latest retail bankruptcy involves a major supplier to those grocery chains we just talked about, Walmart, Whole Foods, and Wegmans, and includes things like Dole and Chiquita, but also includes things like peaches, plums, nectarines, and apricots. And that's in addition to the other article I was talking about. We're seeing lots of fruits and veggie growers in bankruptcy stages. What are you going to do when you can't get these fruits and veggies from the store anymore? What are you going to do? But it's worse than that. I love this. Right on cue, because this is all orchestrated, meat giant Tyson invests heavily in insect ingredient company for, oh yeah, a more sustainable protein. The meat packing giant Tyson Foods has announced it is partnering with an insect ingredient company to construct a bug processing facility in the United States. And the companies will also form a joint venture to build and operate U.S. facility that will produce bug-based meal and oil, things that are typically used in fish feed and dog food. Tyson CFO John Tyson said the insect processing business is a multi-billion dollar industry opportunity with tremendous growth potential. Tyson seems to think that feeding bugs is what the world needs for a sustainable future. And yes, it's all about climate change, of course. And right on cue is very interesting wording considering this is orchestrated. Now, why is that? I came across an article a few weeks ago that, you know, I thought about making a video about it, but at the time it's stuff we had heard before, but now it makes perfect sense. Let's jump into this last article, which came out a few weeks ago. Tyson Foods closing four chicken processing plants in a cost cutting move. Tyson Foods is closing four chicken processing plants as it looks to lower costs. And there's the connection right on cue. They put out a few weeks ago, a press statement, they're closing some plants. Oh, they're not doing very well financially as now they are turning and making new plants, which is not, that's one of the most expensive things you can do, by the way, is re-engineer your plants for a whole new thing. They're closing chicken plants, which honestly, America loves chicken. I mean, beef too, but America loves chicken, but they're closing plants because they're not getting enough uh, profit in it. Oh, but guess what? There is profit in bugs and lots of them. Between the problem with the vegetables, between the problem with the fruits, between the problem with Tyson closing these plants, they're literally making it so food is not coming to our table of foods that we like to have, fruits, veggies, and chicken. And now they're increasing drastically protein, a sustainable protein, mind you, from bugs. This is an all orchestrated plan where we can't buy the things we want to have and we have to, we're forced to eat the, the things they want us to eat. That's where we're going. And of course, as preppers, we want to be able to continue prepping and stockpiling while we can, because understand these things are changing, not to mention even bioengineered products too, that they're force feeding us with. Of course, if you can do it, get out of the cities and get your own property somewhere where you can have your own chickens. Although I feel that's going to be under attack too in the future. That's the only way to get past this stockpile, which you can now and be self-sustainable on your own property. I know it's not easy, everybody, but we need to set goals to make this happen because a time is coming very soon, mind you, where they're going to starve us from the products we like to eat. And they're going to force feed us things like, oh, well, you know, bugs for dinner.